My wife would be so mad at me if she finds out about this. So I... Y'all about to witness a brawl between me and PYT. She's being all particular today and whatnot. What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the beach one more time. But it might be the last time for a little while because I will tell you guys, I'm expecting a call anytime saying that the axle is ready for the Mako and y'all I'm ready. I'm ready to get my baby girl back. We're ready to get back out on the water. But I've had fun doing some land-based fishing while the Mako has been out of commission. As you guys can see, we are back out on the beach today, but we're gonna be doing something a little bit different than what we did in the last video because today we're just bringing out the old bummy stick with the Clash 2 5000. Gonna be tying on a diamond jig and just walking the beach and casting, seeing what we can't pull in. I'm sure we'll catch some more ladyfish because if you guys watched the last video, we cannot keep those off of us to save our life. Hopefully for some Spanish Mac, hopefully some bluefish, maybe a redfish, anything will eat these diamond jigs. So it's a pretty cool bait to toss around. So you never really know, but that's enough talking. Let's put a line in the water and see if we can't put a fish up here in the sand. The, the grass, this is what I was talking about. There's so much of this stuff everywhere. So hopefully after we get out here a little piece, maybe some of this will go away and we'll be able to actually cast out here. God, something's all over it. I don't know what it is. There we go, there's fish, there's fish. There we go. I don't even want to say what I think it is because I've already seen it jump. <laughs> Not what we're looking for right here, guys, I assure you, but definitely what I think it is. I think we're going to have ourselves another poor man's tarpon. Man, and even bigger than what we had the other day. I mean, these dudes are pulling. Like, they're, oh, there he goes. He came off right there. That's perfect, guys. That's perfect. I got all I wanted out of that fish right there. Just a big, giant ladyfish. Now, I know a couple of you said in the last video that you can eat ladyfish. And I know you can, like I'm fully aware that that's a thing. But uh, they also said you have to spoon the meat out rather than fillet it like a normal fish. And I'm just telling y'all right now, they're, they're, you lose me when you start talking about having to spoon the meat out. Because I'm gonna be honest with y'all, in my opinion, if you have to spoon the meat out, it's probably not gonna be very good. I'm just being honest with y'all. And even if it is good, I just don't think it's something I could eat. We tried to eat ladyfish on the channel one time and uh, just couldn't do it. Guys, another big ladyfish followed this lure in right there. I just watched it follow it all the way to the beach. I'm hoping there's some, there's gotta be some bluefish or something out here besides just ladyfish. I mean. All right, I got him on it again. There we go, no. There we go, there's fish. There's a fish. I don't know if y'all can see it jumping around out there, but it's digging now. Might be a lady, might be a blue. No, it's definitely gonna be a little lady fish. But man, you get jumps out of them. That's why they call them the poor man's tarpon, y'all, right there. Because they pop around all over the place like you would not believe as you guys can see right there and i'm telling you if you're just looking to come out here and bend a rod get yourself a casting spoon tie it on and catch you some of these big old honking ladyfish and i'm telling you right now you'll have time of your life oh he came out right there all right we got all we wanted out of him and i didn't have to touch him let's get him back in there see you buddy Swim off. There you go. Swim away. There you go. Good job. That's really all you can ask for from a ladyfish, guys. If you get them up on the beach and uh, you get a good look at them like we did right there, that's really, that's all you're looking for out of them. Concerned in the last few, but have no fear. Frederick is here. He did not go anywhere. Everybody's like, why didn't we see Fred in the last video? And honestly, like, I don't think he was out there while I was fishing, so... But uh, I don't know, he's back today though, so you guys can rest assured, Fred's fine. Fred's eternal, he'll be fine forever. It is a beautiful day out here, guys. They just called me, said the Mako Axle is ready to be picked up. 
So we're going to fish for just a little bit longer here. See if we can't put another fish or two on the bank. And then we're going to head out to Rob's Hitch and Trailer there in Pensacola and pick old girl up, y'all. And I am so excited to get her back. All right, y'all. So I did go ahead and switch over to the more traditional style casting spoon um, from Salt Native. Now, I don't know if I can get the distance out of this that I was getting with that diamond jig, but I do think as far as like the flutter through the water, I think it's going to be a little bit more effective simply because the fish I've hooked so far has been almost when I was using it more like a dart bait. So I'm thinking the more action that we get, the better off we're going to be and have a chance to catch some more of these fish. The trick's going to be seeing how far we can get her to cast. Well, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. I ain't mad about that. I am not mad about that. There we go. There's fish. There's fish, guys, right there. That might be a decent fish. That might be a decent fish, guys. Could just be another big lady, but... I think that's what it is. I think it's not just another giant lady fish, y'all. Because it's jumping all over the place out there. But, man, they got some weight to them. I mean, this one is pulling. Ah, he came unbuttoned. Dang, that was a big fish. Big, big lady fish right there. There we go. There we go. Oh, he slipped it. Guys, they were chasing it hardcore that time. They're so hard to get in. They jump and fight like crazy, but they, I think these are honestly even bigger than the ones I caught in the last video. I mean, I really do, and I know that's crazy to think because they were so big, but I really do think that these are even bigger than those. Maybe it's just this time of year. Maybe I'm not used to like catching ladyfish this time of year. Maybe that's perfectly normal for them to get that big out here, but man, There we go. There's a fish. What we got, what we got up, just a ladyfish, but it's flopping. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but man, it is all over the top of the water out there. Let's see if we can't get another one on the sand. It might've come off, or no, it was just swimming to the shore. Guys, that's hands down the biggest one I've caught right there. Y'all look at it, my gosh. Like just for size comparison, like there's the size of my foot and the size of that fish. Giant, giant lady fish, y'all. Look at this fish. Like, I don't have a third person to show y'all because I'm just out here walking, but what a freaking lady fish, my gosh. All right, buddy. See ya. He doesn't realize he's even free yet. Go on. You're good. Swim away. There he goes. There he goes. Fred's going to get you if you don't go on. You don't want that in your life. Fred's waiting on standby. There we go. Oh, last cast fish, are you kidding me? No way. Oh, he spit it, y'all. No, he's back. He's back. <laughs> Come on, let's get, oh, it definitely came out that time. I watched him spit it. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? His buddies are after it, I reckon, because I saw him spit the lure that time. They're out there spitting it, but there's so many of them. Their buddies just can't stay off of it. That's crazy, I gotta make one more cast now. Well, that's gonna wrap up the fishing portion of this video because it is time to head and grab the axle. And like I told you guys while I was out there fishing, I really feel like I'm probably gonna need the better half of the afternoon 
to get that thing on and get her back to being road worthy so we can get back to fishing from the Mako. One quick thing I wanna address before we go get the Mako. Some of y'all commented in the last video about all the ladies and saying something to the PYT. Y'all don't need to be talking like that. We're not, we're not gonna tell the PYT about the ladies, all right? I'll, I won't get to come fish no more. It don't matter if they're fish. We start talking about how all the ladies are all over me and we can't keep them off of me. PYT will shut that down real fast. My wife will be so mad at me if she finds out about this, so I need y'all to keep that, you know, just between us. She don't really watch videos. She ain't in them anyway, so let's go get our axle. Y'all about to witness a brawl between me and PYT. She's being all particular today and whatnot. Look, she's just, she's giving me the silent treatment <laughs> right now. <laughs> all right, so I had to bring in some muscle, which is why Chase is here. So, uh, because I couldn't, I did it on the other side, but this side, I don't know if it's higher or what, but I couldn't raise the spring in the axle. We did a much heavier duty axle this time. It's one of the square tubes, which a lot of you guys suggested. Um, and I'm pretty sure he did a 3,500 pound axle rather than the 2,500 that came off of it. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure he, he told me that he did a 3,500. So Chase, I need you to grab the wheel hub and just pick it straight up. Uh, I think it's decent. Yeah, that would be a wheel hub. Okay. Oh, did you sit your head? No. You got to back up a little bit though, so I can get down here and work. You can't take up the whole know. workspace. Back the thing up. Son, just go backwards, Bubba. <laughs> Pick the axle up and pull it backwards. He's obviously that's a... my boy right there, y'all. That's Son, right. Not look at me. Look I'm at confused me. what you're saying. That is backwards. Okay, move it that I way. I thought you meant my backwards. Oh my <laughs> that's God. not backwards to me. I understand now why my dad yelled at me when I was a kid when we worked <laughs> on stuff. Alright, let it down on it just a little bit. How you feel about this, baby? I mean, it's been a lot easier to put on than it has was to take off, for sure. I mean, taking it off was kind of... Uh, there was a reason there wasn't a lot of video. I just didn't feel like bleeping out that many um, Sequences. obscenities, if yeah. I'm being honest with you guys. Like, I just didn't feel like bleeping out that much, so I just turned the camera off. All right, we have an axle in place. Chase, run over and get me the box um, from the back of the truck. Okay. I don't think y'all understand how like impressive it's gonna be if I actually do this. I know like changing an axle is not that hard, but at the same time, I'm like the least mechanical inclined person you'll ever meet in your whole life. Like, Or are you? Huh? I think I'm pretty good at uh, engines, but not this kind. <laughs> not this kind of engine? Yeah, he's more working with the game engines. Which is not very useful in this scenario. <laughs> Where's the impact wrench? Here it is. Moving operations to the other side. We are moving operations to the other side. We gotta do that all again? Yes, yeah, son, you have to do both sides. <laughs> There's two. I thought you already did the other side. No. How could I have done the other side without you? I don't know. Magic? Put that up before you hurt yourself. Why would I hurt myself? What do you need me to help you with? You need to communicate. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> you just dropped the communicate bomb on you. <laughs> Chase, that is a like a stepping stone for a wonderful marriage in the future, but. <laughs> Did he just tell me I need to communicate? <laughs> he totally just told you. That is that you how is he is he speaking for you? Is that what's <laughs> happening? I mean Hand me my lug nuts up there, Chase. It's just like la earlier you did it on your own. That's all. Y'all. Um, 
I'm just glad he understands that a key to a great relationship is communication. No, I, like I've learned, a, I have learned a valuable lesson from this process just here today. I understand why my dad yelled at me so much when we worked on stuff. I was like, if I said half the stuff or did half the stuff that he's done out here today, I understand. Like I understand why my dad yelled at me. <laughs> I'll hold my breath. You don't like that sound. Yay. Yay. state for the record that if it wasn't for my extreme foreman skills and epic supervisor techniques this would have never gotten done what you were here for the last five minutes of this you left for kentucky the day we broke the axle and abandoned me i didn't abandon you in your time of need you definitely did 100 percent. but i'm here to cheer you on as your and besides we haven't done the road test yet <laughs> we got to make sure it rolls if i may interject Yes. I, sure. I should also be praised for my epic, epic skills, my brilliant humor, which got us through all of this. Yeah, if it wasn't for that. I my mean... um, intellect, which yes. is unmatched, then we wouldn't have gotten to here. I, I mean, this. I believe him. I believe him, baby. Yes. Truth. Truth. I, I came in here last, but I came in clutch. <laughs> I love you. You got nothing to say. Sometimes there's nothing left to say. <laughs> there is one thing I'm super confused about. What's that? Like, where the heck's Eugene been? This is like right up his alley and I have not seen him like hiding or hair of him since I started this project. You know why, don't you? I have no idea. Dude, he got a new job. He got a new job? He got a new job. Eugene's working. I thought Eugene worked in like online sales or something stupid. He said he needed some extra cash, so he got another job. What job did he get? Oh, you just you just don't even know. Do I want to know? Maybe I don't know. Oh God. I think he was gonna wait to tell you. Perfect. All right, this is the real moment of truth: the road test. Because last time the Mako was on the road, she was up on a rollback. So let's check it out. That's all we can do. Let's do this. Oh snap. Oh my gosh. Carry on my way for son. There'll be more work when you are done. Yes, there will, baby. Yes, there will. Guys, I think that's going to wrap up the saga of the Mako Axle incident for good. Uh, I think everything went good. Road test went well. I'm going to take it off and get the lugs torqued down. Um, obviously, you can't just use an impact wrench. You do need to get a torque wrench to work on those. But, uh, hey, not a bad day. You know, we, we got the axle fixed. At the beginning of this video, we were fishing the spillway. Didn't catch a lot of fish, but had a beautiful morning for fishing. But I, I'm gonna tell you, I don't pat myself on the back very often, but this was this was pretty cool to do this myself. Like it really was. Rather than having to take it somewhere and have somebody to pay for it, you know, I really felt like I could put this thing on or take it off and put it on. Everybody in the comment section was right. Taking it off was way more difficult than putting it on, like a hundred times harder. So putting it back on was no big deal at all. But uh, guys, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you give it a great big thumbs up. If you're new to the Cameraman Ron channel, make sure you go ahead and smash that subscribe button. But it does not cost you a penny, but it sure does mean the world to us. Guys, we can't wait to see y'all on the next one. You take care. We'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.